Here's one thing near Rotherhithe Station that you might not know about. A tower that sank into the earth. No, not that one. The one I'm stood on top of. 20 years before the underground, the world's first tunnel under a navigable river was opened here by Isambard Kingdom Brunel. Now, Isambard wasn't available for an interview, but I've tracked down his great, great, great museum staff to tell me more. We're in the shaft of the Thames Tunnel. Why does it matter? As well as being an amazing building and conveying the London overgrounds, it set the template for every tunnel that's ever been built since then. They built the entire shaft above ground and when they finished it they stood there and did nothing because it slowly sank under its own weight. When it got down to where he needed it to go you could start digging a tunnel under the Thames. Before then you couldn't build a tunnel under the river because you had the whole weight of the river and also the geology meant if you tried to dig a tunnel in a conventional way it would just collapse. Mark Brunel invented a tunnelling shield which both protected the workers and allowed for bricklayers to come in behind the miners lining the tunnel as they went along. And that idea, mechanised and improved, is what is behind the tunnel boring machines that dig our modern tunnels. To discover more about the story of the Thames Tunnel and visit the shaft yourself, the Brunel Museum is open from Friday to Monday each week. To visit the actual tunnel though, you just need to take a train between Wapping and here at Rotherhive. This used to be an underground station, I mean it's still under the ground. The platforms are very short and narrow, to the point where the only place they could fit a departure board was over the mouth of the tunnel. I've not previously been a fan of this floor to ceiling white panelling, but the colourful artwork celebrating local places and sites really brightens up what could otherwise be a pretty dingy space. The front of the station has some lovely red brick arches and decorative columns before a reasonably contemporary concourse. At the foot of the escalators are two tiny doors, which is where some goblins live. Then there's a great contrast between the mottled grey tiling and the age-worn Victorian brickwork, plus some plaques commemorating the tunnel. Rotherhithe has a lot of character and for that I think it warrants a high B tier.